good morning students we have been studying about structure of administration under that i already explained civil service army the third point police lord cornwallis organized a regular police force its function was to maintain law and order and assist the district magistrate in carrying out his duties the districts were organized into thanas under the charge of darogas villages and cities had chaukidars and kotwals the higher post were reserved only for the british higher post means sp like is okay all the higher rank reserved only for the british next point is judicial organization here warren hastings and cornwallis set up civil and criminal courts at the district level here not the point uh, warren hastings very important name because uh, he became the he means warren has became the first governor general of india who introduced several administrative reforms especially in the sphere of justice that is what is is very important person indian laws were codified in 1833 by the law commission this led to the introduction of the concept of rule of law according to which the law was the same for all irrespective of their position caste religion or economic status however only europeans had special courts and were tried by british judges okay that is what is about judicial organization then come to the conclusion it was inevitable for the british to evolve an administrative structure in order to consolidate their control over india it was inevitable means unavoidable for the british to evolve means to develop develop gradually an administrative structure in order to consolidate consolidate means combine their control over india thus they established the pillars of indian administration in the in the form of civil service police army and judiciary as india was divided into different territories in the early years when the british state started to take control over india there was no place for nationalism and unity among indians why why they control india because of there was no nationalism i will explain about nationalism and uh, uh, no unity among indians it helped the british to take control over india easily thus the east india company was transformed from a trading company to a territorial colonial power that is that's all okay okay thank you